Uh, I'm I'm having trouble freaking remembering who we haven't been yet. I know who I have, man. I guess I'll be Mitsuhide. Oh yeah, technically. <laughs> oh, in his outfit, I didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah, he's a scary crow, man. <laughs> this is not what he's supposed to look like. It's just what I gave him after playing through the story on my own. Uh, but yeah, he, technically he's not a Kachimitsu Hida here because Nobunaga is technically dead. This is Tankai, who is a Kachimitsu Hida with a mask. I just now noticed that there's an actual map of Japan in the bottom right that tells you where the mission is. Yeah, that's the, that's the war map, the actual war map. It used to be that the, the you chose these levels on the map and then the pictures were next to the dots, but I guess they thought it was too it, it obscured it too much. I guess. Boy, the Sengoku War was so ve very heavily focused around Kyoto, wasn't it? It it was the capital. Yeah. Cause yeah, I have this scarecrow outfit, and I have this slightly less scarecrow outfit. Whatever. Yeah. I like how this series started out with freaking with me give, giving you tidbits about about the history and all that, and now we just run out of all all of the shit that I know. So it's just it's just a podcast while we play the game. <laughs> Well, I've been thinking lately, I need to... I haven't actually put much time into Total War Shogun, so I've been thinking that I should be playing that more. And maybe I'll be able to help some with that. I always I, forget that, that the gambling dude's supposed to be a bad guy. Oh, yeah. Alright, projectiles. You're trying out your moves and I'm freaking full comboing this guy. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm willing to He's stay dead. behind to figure out my moves. I don't even remember missing out his moves, I just, I just do them. Oh my god, this girl's got Virgil's summon swords. Oh yeah, 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 I forgot about that. You are not worthy as my opponent. Oh, they work differently, okay. I did actually read up on some additional history that I'm so, I sometimes sometimes forget about, but it, but I only remember things like, oh, Uesugi Kenshin, or at least according to um, the word at the time, died on the shitter after having his asshole pierced by a knife by a ninja. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew about that one. I well, didn't. I didn't know it, it I but I remember it was someone in the Zengoku War died of ninja on the toilet. Yeah, I, 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 I think historians now think that that's, not, that's actually not true. <laughs> he, he died to, like, freaking cancer. Yeah. Well, the <clears throat> wasn't part of the myth also that he was actually a woman? No. Or was that just what Gact was saying? Because Gact is Gact. That might be what, what Gact was saying, because... Like, yeah. he, he is he is always, from, from what I can tell, always portrayed pretty effeminate, so... You know. Ah, I see. <clears throat> I like that Japan at least has one celebrity who's renownedly crazy enough that we're like, Oh yeah, it's uh, Gak, he does that. No, admittedly, I think Americans only really know Gak because of uh, Final Fantasy. Uh. <laughs> that was the one he was in, right? Wasn't he in uh, Crisis Core? Was it Crisis Core, the prequel? Where we get to see um, uh, Sephiroth before he went crazy? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's funny you say this because I've been playing through Final Fantasy VII recently for the first time. Oh, really? Uh, the original? Yeah, I, I I haven't been I have owned the original for a while. I just never freaking played it because I don't like Final Fantasy. <laughs> but I, I own Final Fantasy yeah. Five and Six as well, and I've not bothered to put the time into them, which I probably should. I mean, to be fair, my my introduction to Final Fantasy was liking Eight. I still like Eight. I need to go back and revisit that to see if I I, I like it still. But like from my memories, I still like Eight. Then I then nothing and then I played twelve or whatever X. It it was I I feel like the freaking box says twelve, but it's not. I, it's probably not the one I'm thinking of. I don't know. Whatever the Zodiac Cage is the subtitle. 
That's the one. Ah, uh, shit. But yeah, so Zodiac I... Zodiac Age, that is... I feel like it's 12. Yeah, it's 12, isn't it? But it was... 12 was one of the RPG, the, the MMO RPGs, right? No. 11 was the first demo, uh, Final Fantasy MMO, yes. Oh, okay, so yeah, 12. I played 12, didn't like that. I also just like... The, the main character just reminded too much of reminded me too much of Titus, and I've only ever seen the freaking laughing scene of him at that point. <laughs> so, I oh Fan, Final Fantasy XII was the one that I remember having the really bland protagonist. Yes, th that's also true. <laughs> <laughs> but so that, and then I played fifteen because it it was on Game Pass. I I played a couple of minutes of it, but then. The game required me to press RB and it was on Xbox, so um, I'm planning on revisiting that as well. <laughs> Cause I, I liked I liked what I saw mostly. I mean, like the thing is, people completely saw as not freaking uh, Final Fantasy, and they're not wrong. Yeah. Like that, that's the that, that's some of the main things that I like about it. That it's not fi not traditional Final Fantasy, and I mean they should have just made a different made a different game, <laughs> but they didn't for some reason. I mean, there's been so many fucking Final Fantasies for so long, like... <laughs> that is a franchise that, like, it changes inevitable, because there's been fucking a hundred of them. Because, like, we're not even... Like, there's the numbered titles, but there's also Tactics and fucking, uh... Oh, yeah, actually, I did you say that. I did actually play Final Fantasy Tactics. Yeah, and Dirge of Cerberus. Remember that one? I was it. I, I'm interested in that one just of what I remember seeing on video, but I don't know what it's what it's on even. PS2. I remember uh, wanting to rent it when I was a kid, and I was because it had a cool guy with a gun on the cover, right? And he had half his face covered up because he was cool like that. I mean, he. From what I remember, the freaking main guy just looks like Ronald the Blood Edge. Yeah. I would have like, loved Brog I would have loved Ragnar the Blood Edge when I was a kid. I, I, I don't think I would have because my my tasting character design has re remained mostly the same as when I was a freaking when I was an edgy eight year old and Ragnar just looks lame. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't hate Ragnar as much as you do either, though. That that it's still to this day. I mean, I don't think Ragnar's good, but I also don't think he's the absolute pits. I think he. I don't think he's as bad as most anime. <laughs> most animus. It de it depends on which ones. <laughs> Cause there's definitely freaking anime designs where, yeah, Ragnar is better. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the thing I've noticed with this game is that I think... I, I don't think the timeline of the missions are as, as clear-cut as I thought. Cause I, I, from what I can gather, aside from the time travel bullshit in the Bunaga story, like, from what I can gather, gather, the game is actually supposed to be set, set from when Nobunaga died, like a bit before then, to un until Yasu is in power. Which is why Toyotomi is still alive in some stages, but dead in others. Now, who was it that uh, took over Japan and tried to invade Korea and it was a horrible fuck-up? It was either Toyotomi or Ieyasu. It was one of them. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, alright, well I guess that's this combo. I mean, I can just pick him up once we're done with yours. <laughs> fucking... There we you go. You fucking grow a fuck! You I'm fucking dancing. ape! Thank you, Jesus, for this kill. <laughs> Basically, he I, I believe Tankai was supposed to be a Shinto priest. Ah. Alright, on this level we need to break boxes. But Takadatsu, right. Takadatsu Honda doesn't get rebuilt. Well, I don't think we're gonna succeed at that. I can shoot my bow while sprinting? Yeah, why not? That's dumb, but okay. 
All right, the yeah, is running. <laughs> what a hero. I don't know why I'm thoroughly enjoying just running around with a bow, repeatedly just shooting at complete random and hoping that it hits something. It's different. It is different, yes. It's a bit like the chariot, but I'm not in a chariot, I'm just on foot. No, uh, whoop, oh, boop, the pop, pop, uh, hey, actually, hey. actually, I'll leave Honda to you and then just destroy the freaking the places where they make the boxes so they can't rebuild him again. Just, just in case. <laughs> I like the idea of Honda just fucking dying, but they're like, oh, we can rebuild him, he's a robot, don't worry. Yeah. It, it's it's funny how they adapted the two apparently strongest people in the Sengoku era, because at least according to Takeda Shingen, the two strongest people in the Sengoku era were Takaratsu Honda and Munesh uh, I don't remember his full name, okay, Muneshige. You know the guy with the preacher man guy with with the chainsaws. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently they were the, the strongest people in the Sengoku. I mean, the chainsaw guy doesn't get that much praise hyper at all. I mean, he's he's, he's a he's a joke character. <laughs> oh, just... that that'll, that'll teach him to be Christian. <laughs> this right. fucking lizard guy. Every fight that we're in, halfway through, he shows up. Yeah, he's annoying. Yes. <laughs> all right, Yasu's dead. All right. Later, fucker. Uh, which one do you want to do? Have you seen this level? This, this doesn't look familiar it looks to me. Like we fought him, but we haven't seen that level, I don't believe. Alright, let's do that level, I guess. So yeah, while you were beating that guy up, his deer just fucking comboed me, so that was nice. Alright, Shimasakon. He's here How to haunt us. We this? How many times have we killed this dude? Too many. So fun fact, Takachi Mitsuhide is one of the like, I don't know, four or five characters that got removed as playable in Devil Kings. Oh, the character you're playing as right now? Yeah. So he's he's in the game. You can fight him. You could play as him in the Japanese version, but not in the not in the Western release. Huh. I guess they decided that like I assume that in Devil Kings he's like, oh, I'm a big demon. I mean, in, in Sengoku Basura he's like, oh, I'm a big demon, but <laughs> no, no, he's just he's just a, like a freaking masochist. Okay. From what I remember. Can you not play as Oda Nobunaga in Devil Kings either? You can. Oh, that he, makes he's, he's the protagonist of Devil Kings. He is? Yes. Oda Nobunaga is the is the protagonist of Devil Kings. And he's the, he's the one on the cover. He's the one that matters. Like, all, all that stuff. Makes sense, because guess what fucking character in the fuck? And the fucking Devil King's cast has the strongest resemblance to Dante's fighting style. Oda Nobunaga. Ah, uh, yeah, and they, they did say that they wanted to they wanted to try to adapt it like DMC. Yep. Although I, I can I can tell you that he didn't he didn't used to have freaking uh stand. Actually, I, from what I remember, I I read that his fighting style was completely changed between three and four, or something like that. Two and three. Yeah, but still, he was a sword and shotgun dude. But yeah, so you can... You, in Devil Kings, you can play as Masamune Yukimura Shingen. I'm not sure about Sasuke. I believe you can play as Sasuke. Then, Nobunaga... Nobunaga's wife. Um... Mori Ranmau. Who has been freaking absent from the game since. Same with Nobunaga's huh. wife, for that matter. Although I... Nobunaga's wife might have died. Ha! <laughs> Some characters get, yeah. And that was before Nobunaga's sister was a thing. Yeah. 
Like some characters there has a, has an actual explanation as for why they're not in why why they are not in the game anymore. Like the there's the, this uh Kabuki dude is the best way I can put it. Like he's basically like the the Japanese equivalent of the pompous asshole archetype. Ah. Like a period, period appropriate version, I guess. But yeah, so that guy he died. We just for that say yeah he's dead. He's not coming back. <laughs> And then Xavi, Xavi went to a different continent, probably Africa or something like that, to preach, preach Christianity there. Or well, te technically, since they never actually said he's a Christian, Christian missionary, Xavism is, I think, the official name that they gave it. Yeah, because that you know it's okay to have history as long as you rename everything. Fuck. But you, 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 they didn't even really rename the guy, they just shortened his, like, freaking given name. It, it, that, that, now, that, now that you mention it, that actually really... That is weird how... They show, like... The Zavism is in, is in the series, but remember how Masamune had a gigantic cross on his back and he was still a protagonist? Yeah. Like... <laughs> how do they explain that? I wonder. Oh my god, I froze him in the perfect pose. Alright. That went to Shida. Rip. Well, let's go with that guy, the thing, the green guy. Alright, I'm gonna assume you meant Shibata. Because <laughs> Mori is also green. <laughs> I know. It occurred to me as I was saying it. So does Billy Joel! That's true! <laughs> I not didn't think about Billy that. Jo not Billy Joel, Billy Joe Armstrong. Those two are, have two similar of names. Billy Joel Armstrong? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I have or actually made that mistake for real. I'm just thinking about what music that a guy named Billy Joel Armstrong would make. Like, how would, how would that freaking mix behave? American Piano Man. Piano idiot. Piano idiot. <laughs> Hang on, there's you, there's gotta be something we can do with we didn't start the fire. So give, give me a Green Day we song that works for that. We didn't bang bang. <laughs> oh, let's see, cause I, I I I have been freaking I have been listening to Green Day, <laughs> but. I only listen to freaking like singles, not whole albums, because albums usually suck overall. But well, at least in the know, I, yeah. You tend to find like hidden songs that you didn't like, uh, know you'd like on albums to me. But it depends on whether or not you even like the band in the first place. Yeah. Well, I, I listen to albums as in like I I go go through an album and listen to the songs on it. I just like there there's no one album that I can say oh yes I like that album. I can ah. say I, I can say I like like one third of the songs on here, but I don't like the whole album. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's see if I can freaking rem remember any of their songs. Cause Bang Bang was the one really they released um, to an answer to to write an answer to school shooting. <laughs> <laughs> right, cause that would have been around the time that they and Marilyn Manson would have been getting blamed for a lot of that. No, that was recent. Oh, that, that song's new. <laughs> Uh, I was about to say, I've not heard that one. I feel like I have heard most of Green Day's early discography, but I've not heard that one. I think... I, I think it starts with, like, ISIS clips, or, like, clips, clips from school shooters, or something like that. Or both, maybe. As all as all music videos should. No, I, I don't mean the music video, I mean the audio. The song starts with that. As all songs should. <laughs> I... I I'm not sure if they they probably did make a music video for it, but I've only only ever heard the song. I didn't see the music video. There are sometimes where they wind up including the weird shit from the music video in the song. So true. But yeah, so they they did that. They did 21 guns, but I, I don't think that would fit. But we didn't start the fire. We didn't start the guns. <laughs> we didn't 21 the guns. My God! Holy Jesus! What was that that just attacked me? What was it? Oh, I didn't see. 
Oda Nobunaga's sister has crazy bullshit. Yes, she does. It just she just put me in the ground and I took a million hits while nothing like just statically. It was weird. What the fuck? Why do things explode around this guy for no reason? Because he's Sentai. Of course he he's is. He's a Power Ranger. Is Mitsuhide not wearing a mask to cover his identity, but actually just because he has COVID? No, but Otari does Otari does have the actual plague, so probably <laughs> probably to save himself from that too, because I, I think he might have been working with them. Ah. Yeah, yeah, boy, did we, we yeah? did we skip Mitsuhide's ending cutscene? We might <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I saw him eating soup, and I was like, "All right, here we go." And then it skipped, and I was like, "Oh, I, I mean, guess I... we've seen that one before." Why am I so stupid? They say the name there, and I'm like, "Oh, who is Tenkai?" It's not like I literally know the freaking kanji for ten. <laughs> That's used. <laughs> Tenkai. There we go. <laughs> there we go. それは何よりです。これもみんな天海様のおかげだよね。本当にありがとう。いえいえ。ですが私はもう長い間口にしていないのです。ご飯を<笑><笑><笑> <laughs> I, I actually really like that. That's. I like this ending. It's funny. Like the, the soup guy just has no object permanence whatsoever. Yeah, none at all. <laughs> 